spend your money and I'll tell you what your values are. Because that's where it shows up. And that's why one of the keystones, central parts of what I talk about now in my campaign is that we start in America with a wealth tax. We need to put a tax on the top one-tenth of one percent, the biggest fortunes in this country. And here's the idea behind it. It's a two-cent tax. It says once you've got $50 million, your first $50 million, fine. But you're, I know you've relaxed over that now, right? <laughs> but when you hit that 50 millionth and first dollar, you gotta pitch in two cents. And two cents for every dollar after that. It's a tax on wealth. It's a tax on the great fortunes in this country. And understand this, it's not a tax to say there's something bad or you've done something bad. It's to say you built a great fortune in this country. You had some great idea. You worked really hard or you inherited well, whichever way. But the point is, if that fortune was built here in America, I guarantee it was built at least in part using workers all of us helped pay to educate. It was built at least in part getting your goods to market on roads and bridges all of us helped pay to build. It was protected by firefighters all of us helped pay the salaries for. So we're just saying, you make it really big in this country, Pitch in two cents so everybody else has a chance to make it in this country. And here's what that does. Two cents from the top one-tenth of one percent. And here's what we can do with it. We can start out by providing universal child care for every baby in this country age zero to five. We can provide universal pre-K for every three-year-old and four-year-old in this country. We can raise the wages of every child care worker and preschool teacher to the professional levels that they deserve and that we want our children to be taken care of people who have real professions here. We can make public technical school, two-year college and four-year college tuition free for every one of our kids. We can put $50 billion into historically black colleges and universities so that they can play from a level playing field in building tomorrow's leaders. And we can cancel student loan debt for 95% of the people who have student loan debt. We can do all of that and we can hit the opioid crisis head on. We can put $100 billion over the next 10 years to putting the resources right down into the communities that are on the front lines in this fight. We can actually save lives, save families, save communities across this country, and we would still have money left over. What, what I want you to understand about every part of this, and I know you understand this, is asking those at the very top to put in two cents is enough to be able to help all of our children build a future. Not just some Senator, of our children, Senator, but let me, all of our children. Let me follow up on, on that question, though, because I really want to get at it. 